welcome to our channel. My name is Taylor and this is my ferret bear. Today we'll be talking about the history of ferrets, how they originated, and how they came to be what they are to us now. I'm going to try to keep bearing this video for as long as I possibly can, but I can't promise anything because it's a little antsy today. The domesticated ferret that we know and love today was most likely either bred from the Eastern European polecat or the steppe polecat, and many scientists believe that it's the former because of anatomical similarities between the two species. Bear has to go away now, so say goodbye. He just wants to go run and play. We have strong reason to believe that the ancient Greeks first bred the domesticated ferret 2,500 years ago, and we believe this because in the works of Aristophanes, Aristotle, and Strabo, they are small mammals that are described in a way that makes them sound like ferrets, and they were often muzzled and put in burrows to hunt rabbits, which ferrets do naturally. So the next time we get a look at ferrets is all the way in 1200 AD when they made their way to Germany. We also hear of them in the year 1221 because according to legend, Genghis Khan used them in Afghanistan. In the years 1223 and 1281, we first hear about ferrets in England. We first see them in English records because ferreters, or hunters who use ferrets to hunt for game, are listed as members of the royal court. Also listed in these documents states that ferrets can only be owned by those who have an income of at least 40 shillings a year due to the fact that ferrets were only owned by royalty and high-ranking church officials. The use of ferrets continued to spread throughout Europe thanks to the Roman Empire because Romans used ferrets to hunt and rabbits. Also, they are often used as pest control on many sea vessels. Because they are used on ships, ferrets were introduced to North America in the 1700s. So, although ferrets were first used for pest control and hunting, their role began to shift from a working animal to a household pet. This first started in the 1800s when ferrets were first owned by royalty. In Western European countries, it was a very big deal to own ferrets because they were a sign of wealth and prosperity. Across the world in the U.S. in the 1900s, ferrets were really pushed to be used as pest control for agriculture. With this, thousands of ferrets were imported from other countries. However, with the Green Revolution, chemical pesticides were introduced into agriculture, so ferrets were no longer needed for this purpose. Instead, they became a beloved household pet. Throughout history, ferrets have had many roles in society. Because of this, I'll be going through what they were used for. The first use of the domesticated ferret was rabbit hunting. During rabbit hunting, ferrets would be sent into small holes and burrows, and then they would go in, kill the rabbit, and bring it back out to the hunter. This has evolved into a sport called ferreting, which is actually illegal in several countries because it can cause harm to ferrets. Ferrets were also used for pest control on ships, agriculture, and even in homes. In many instances, they were chosen over cats and dogs because they were just small enough to fit into narrow holes and chase after mice and rats. They were often used on Navy ships, and that's actually helped them become a household pet because the ships that had them, the sailors fell in love with ferrets and often wanted to take one home as a family pet. A really sad use for ferrets throughout history has been for fur production. This is a really big thing in Europe, but it never really took off in the United States because we have things such as beaver and mink instead. However, ferret fur is much less sought after now due to the animal rights movement and the industry may die out completely. One of the most important uses for ferrets throughout time was as a transporter. As technology advanced, we needed ways to run wires through tubes, and ferrets were perfect for that. Oil men, telephone companies, camera crews, and those who maintained aircraft often used them for this purpose. However, they aren't used for this anymore because we now have machines that can do it for us. Another sad use for ferrets was a sport called ferret lagging, which is a game very popular in English pubs. What would happen is a male contestant would securely tie his pant legs at his ankles, and then put a ferret in his pants and then secure his waistband with another rope. What would then happen is a ferret or two, whatever amount they decide to put in there, would try to escape, often getting aggravated and start biting the person. The goal of the sport was to go as long as you could to win, and it often resulted in harm and even death to ferrets. And thankfully, it's not very popular anymore. One of the most important uses to date of ferrets was for biomedical research. They started being used for this in the 20th century, mostly in the United States because we have plenty of breeding mills that can quickly produce healthy ferrets in large amounts. They are first used to test the human influenza virus because ferrets are susceptible to it as well, and they actually helped us develop vaccines for it. There are a lot of uses for ferrets in the biomedical research field, so I'm actually going to have to read it off of a cheat sheet because there's just so many uses for them. Ferrets are currently used to study 
virology, toxicology, pharmacology, reproductive physiology, endocrinology, physiology, teratology, and anatomy. As a byproduct of this research, we now know more about ferret anatomy and how to better take care of the animal. So in the end, it was a really great thing to do. The most recent and most common use for ferrets now is as a companion animal. The reason for this is because ferrets make great pets and companions, and they're actually beloved by ferret owners throughout the world, including me. Thank you so much for watching our video. I really hoped you learned something today and found it as interesting as I did because I really do have a passion in finding out where my loved ones came from, and that includes this little guy. So if you like this video, please comment down below and subscribe to our channel and hit that little bell notification so you get notified every time we upload. Thanks for watching and have a great day with your ferret.